Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video we're going to have a look at questions 81 to 84 of section 3 of the purple booklet. So this is a question about Henry's constant, uh, which looks at the partial pressure of a gas and how it dissolves in equilibrium, as shown here. So I've written down all the relevant information, and we will start off with question 81, which says that all of the dissolved air is extracted from a 1 litre sample of blood plasma which has been equilibrated with air at 25 degrees C. The extracted air is found to consist 12.3 millilitres of nitrogen and 6.3 millilitres of oxygen. There is more nitrogen than oxygen in the extracted air. Why is that? Well, if we look at um, the KH values for nitrogen and oxygen, we can see that it's much greater for nitrogen uh, than it is for oxygen. And so we know there's a much greater concentration of nitrogen in the air. There's more pressure for nitrogen in the air. Um, and then that points us towards answer D, which says the higher partial pressure of nitrogen in air causes its concentration in plasma um, will exceed the O2 concentration. And from the equation here that looks at what KH actually is, does support this um, because the higher the concentration um, of the gas in contact with the liquid, the higher the KH will be. So therefore, we know the answer for number 81 has to be D, just from the information that's given to us. If we look at 82, then it says the partial pressure of argon in the atmosphere is 0.093 atmospheres, which I've written here. Which of the following is the best estimate for the equilibrium constant or concentration of argon in the blood plasma? So we're going to use the equation that we're given here for Henry's constant, which is KH equals the pressure of X over the concentration of x. We've been given all the values we need, it's just a matter of subbing in the numbers over x. Great. So if we um, just solve for x, we can multiply both sides by x and divide by 732. We get x is 0 0.0093 over 732. If you were to approximate those numbers, um, you'd get an answer of x of 1.27 times 10 to the minus 5 moles. And in this case, that means the answer for 82 has to be A. And we're just using the equation that we've been given and putting in the numbers. Then for 83, it says that air contains a 4 to 1 ratio of nitrogen to oxygen. What's the ratio of the concentration of nitrogen to oxygen in blood plasma? Well, if we have a look uh, again at the values of kh were given and i've added um an extra zero here but we have a ratio of 1550 to 780 and that's roughly a two to one ratio and of course the ratio is going to be inversely proportional to the concentration of each of them and so we know that the ratios of the kh values are the same as the ratios of the concentrations and because we've got a two to one ratio here we know that the answer for 83 is therefore going to be C. If we look then at 84, it says about deep sea divers using helium and oxygen as a mix um, because of the solubility of helium. It says if the blood plasma of a deep sea diver was found to have equal concentrations of dissolved helium and oxygen, which of the following is the best estimate of the percentages of the gases in the mixture? So equal concentrations of each makes it a lot easier. And again, we're just going to have a look at the ratio of the KH values. So for helium, we've got 2,800. And for oxygen, we've got a ratio um, or ratio of 780. This is roughly a 4 to 1 ratio, which you could also write as an 80-20 ratio. So we can say that 80% of the blood would be helium to 20% of oxygen. And therefore that gives us an answer for 84 of D. So that was questions 81 to 84, talking about Henry's Law um, in section 3 of the Purple Booklet. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.